you came second in Kirkwood, you're now third in the rankings. How stoked are you? I'm pretty stoked. It's, uh, it's a good thing, you know, it gets you back on the track. And uh, you got a good feeling, it's good for your mind, good for your skiing. I'm pretty pumped up. You know, um, we were watching it yesterday and the snow looked terrible. And I was talking to Sam Smoothie before the event and he called the snow conditions burly. So I was wondering what you made of it. I was really surprised because I was expecting way, like, really crappy, crappy snow and icy. But it was not that bad, actually. I was really surprised. I was really, a little bit disappointed when I arrived at the beginning, at the bottom, because I, I, was, I could have judged it a little bit more and uh, could have done it. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about your line. Um, was that the line you picked initially, or did you change when you saw how bad the snow was? No, actually, I didn't. I was planning two different batches, and uh, I sent that one in the middle when I showed up. When I arrived on that kind of uh, wind lift, to the side on the way down. You know? So yeah, I was like, oh, that's a good spot to do it. So out of all of the stops of the Freeride World Tour, which one have you enjoyed the most so far? Chamonix would be my favorite one because of the back trip. And so you've been filming a lot of stuff yourself. This is your third season of podcasts. Can you tell people what they're about? Well, uh, podcasts is all about what we're doing all season long and we're trying to show what it is to handle such a long time, you know, in the winter, all together with some different athletes and uh, trying to show that we're having fun and we're not just only like, you know, fucking straight athletes, whatever. Where can people find them if anybody wants to go check them out now and they haven't seen them yet? Oh, you can log on to my website, jewelmarpers.com. And, um, and the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was this Quicksilver announcement, um, all this sponsorship a uh, axing stuff. Does that have anything to do with you? Do you have any comments as to what's happening right now? I don't have any comments on that. I mean, I'm not in a bad position. I'm very stoked to be on Quicksilver. I know the industry is not that well at the moment, but we'll see, you know? I remember you, like, at the start of the season, you were saying, like, this, you want this to be your year. Like, you want this to be the year that you make it back to the top. Is that, do you feel confident now? Do you feel like that's where you're heading? That's what I'm heading, but you always have to be uh, concentrate and focus on your goal and uh, the best way to do it, keep on having fun doing what you're doing and that's the best thing I'm doing right now. You know, I'm not feeling any pressure. I'm at the starting gate, just dropping in and having fun doing some lines with my friends and whatever. So it, it's not a pressure. And that's the best way it works for me. If I do that that way, then it works. If I do too much of a mental game, it doesn't work for me. So I just enjoy it, have a smile, and charge it. It seems to be working. So yeah, pretty happy.